everybody welcome back to my channel today i have short hair got my hair cut this week and i really like it because it's flowy and it doesn't get in the way anymore and i think it looks good <laughs> okay today we're going to be talking about skincare products that i used to use but i don't use anymore and basically these could either be like in my old routine or in like my recent routine but I don't use them anymore for specific reasons so stay tuned to find out I'm sitting in my basement floor because I feel like it's kind of cozy and comfy okay I literally haven't, I feel like I haven't filmed in so long because my last video wasn't like a talking video anyways let's get started with the products that'll be a lot of fun and some of these are maybe uh, loved by a lot of people don't get mad at me okay <laughs> There's actually 11. I'm gonna kind of go in order of like a skincare routine because I realize there's actually like one for almost every step. Now I'll explain a little story behind that. First one, this is so exciting. Okay, the very first one that I will never use again is the Glow Recipe Papaya Enzyme Cleansing Balm. So this one's actually a weird start to the video because <laughs> the reason I don't use this anymore and I will never use it again is because I gave it to my sister. Basically, I tried it once and I didn't really like how it felt and I already had another cleansing balm. Go watch my belief video. Um, but I didn't feel the need for this one. I didn't quite like it. I feel like it kind of didn't rinse off, but I don't know. My sister likes it, so there you go. The next step in the skincare routine is cleanser. I have two cleansers here. The first one, <laughs> I'm too scared. The first one's this. I know. The one that everybody talks about, everybody says healed their skin. I actually used this like years ago when I was um, <laughs> when I was trying like a skincare routine from like, I think it was from my dermatologist. I had really dry skin and so I used it and it was fine. I didn't love it. I don't like that. It doesn't feel like it doesn't do anything. Now I don't have a place for it in my routine because I like other cleansers better and this one happens to be empty. So didn't repurchase it. Next, <laughs> this is also one that is um, loved by a lot of people. And <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> ah, I already showed you. And it is this. The Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. <laughs> I'm so scared. But okay, I tried this a few months ago when my skin was like kind of my barrier was like compromised because I over exfoliated and I was trying to get into a new routine and this is one of the cleanses I picked because I heard raving reviews about it but it kind of dried my skin out I feel like and I feel like I got more pimples than I ever had and I don't know maybe it's because I just need something hydrating then like I don't know if it would work now but I don't really want to try it again <laughs> it like it felt nice it was interesting it was really thin and it bubbled quite a bit and it like smelled cool and I know it has good ingredients but I just won't be using this one again. Okay, next we have toner. And this is another product that I tried when I was trying to like fix my skin barrier. And I think I'm gonna do a video about that later. So yeah, I won't get too much into that. But basically my skin was really oily because it was like overcompensating for the over exfoliation. So I got this. It is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Toner. So it's supposed to be like hydrating formula to balance and refresh skin. Oh, sorry, freshen, not refresh. For normal to oily skin types. And I don't have an oily skin type. I'd say now I probably have like a combination, like a little bit oily and like dry on my cheeks. But anyways, I thought this was gonna help <laughs> with my oily skin and it was hydrating, it was like fine. Like this product was just fine. And then I ended up switching my routine later so it's like half done. I'll probably give it to someone or I don't know if I'll use it again, but it gives me bad memories of me trying to uh, fix my skin the wrong way. After that, we have a mist. And I actually really like this mist, really liked, or this had a really good spot in my routine. I had two of these, this is my second one. And it is the ColourPop 43 Beauty, so it's like the skincare part, um, Fresh AF Mist. I would use this a lot in my skincare routine, it's really hydrating, it's just a normal mist, I don't know. But basically now I don't use it anymore because this doesn't serve any purpose to me, but I know I shouldn't waste it, so maybe at one point I will, or I'll give it away. And when I say give it away, I mean like, let my sister use it <laughs> and I feel like other products have like better uh, like actually do something worthwhile <laughs> anyways after a mist I guess you have moisturizer 
And this is the moisturizer I will never be using again. <laughs> Goes hand in hand with my oil control toner, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. <laughs> and I actually liked this. I might use it again on like certain areas, but basically, you know the deal. I thought my skin was super oily, started getting a bunch of oil control products, and this did leave a really nice matte finish. And it was hydrating; it wasn't too drying. But right now, I just like something glowier, especially as we're like getting into colder weather which it's actually getting not super cold, but I wish it was getting colder than it actually is, but let's just say we're getting into the colder weather, okay? <laughs> yeah, it, again, doesn't bring me good memories because I was like, I have oily skin, I need to make it matte. <laughs> but I feel like it's a good product. I just won't be using it in my routine anytime soon. While we're in the topic of moisturizers, I'll do a body moisturizer that I will never use again. <laughs> it's a dramatic title, but I will not be using this again, the Body Shop Strawberry Body Yogurt because I like a thicker cream. And I actually uh, bought this twice and it's really good. Like it has such a cool texture. It's really lightweight, which is probably why I got something creamier. Yeah, it was really good. It like really sunk into your skin. So if that's something that you like, then you should definitely try this one, but it's still really good. Like obviously I repurchased it twice, so I might go back to this eventually, even though the title says never. <laughs> okay. Next, after moisturizer, there's sunscreen. And I actually have three <laughs> sunscreen products here that I will not be using in my current routine or anytime soon. The first one being Neutrogena Hydro Boost. <laughs> okay, listen, this one is so, so greasy. Like, oh, it's glowy. No, it's greasy. I would put it on my face, really, really, really rub it in. And then later, like minutes, hours later, I could touch it and grease would come off of my finger. Like, so gross, that should not be happening. Or I don't want that to happen. Maybe you do. And maybe I don't have like the driest skin ever, but I did not enjoy it. And I remember having to use it because I didn't have any other sunscreens that I liked, but now I really like the Purito sunscreens. Those are really good if you're looking for something, but yeah, I will not be using this again. Like I really, really don't want to use it again. It's not an enjoyable uh, experience. Second sunscreen product, Ulta Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray, SPF. 50. Um, okay, here's the thing. It's not bad. It's a good idea. I needed a mist for sunscreen because to reapply and stuff like that. Oh, I feel like I need to sit on my feet so I'm in the frame. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting off track. Um, yeah, so this burns your eyes if you spray it in your face. I would have to go like this. I have to spray and be like, and like dry it out. I'm like, <laughs> dry it, dry it, dry it. And then like eventually I have to like tissue around my eyes so it wouldn't sting. <laughs> like that's not good. So yeah, it was my favorite. And also like I know mists don't provide sufficient sun protection, but like this is just for like extra, you know? Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna search for a better like powder version of sunscreen or another mist, but this one is not it for me. It, I really don't want to use it again because it would, yeah, it would literally stick my eyes and it was not enjoyable and it would leave like a grease on your skin too. See, so see both, both of these. <laughs> okay, we have two more products. This one. <laughs> I actually like this one and the reason I said I will never be using this again is because I use this in the summertime because since we got a pool well, I needed a water resistant sunscreen and the Purito ones aren't so this one is broad spectrum SPF 50 oh sorry did I even say the name a super group play everyday lotion I was so happy when super group came to Sephora and so I picked this one up and it was really good for summer but now I don't need it anymore I would never use it on days where I wasn't gonna swim because like it also didn't leave a nice feeling on my skin. It was like, always looked wet. I would rub it and it was, it was like super glowy. So like, that was good, but it was a little bit too glowy for me. I don't know. I'll still be using it in the summer though, but for the title, I'll never use it again. <laughs> what are my fingers doing? Okay, the last one. It's not really a skincare product, but I consider it a skincare product. It's primer. Do you consider that a skincare product? I don't know, whatever, it's fine, I'm including it. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Neutral Redness Primer. So like, I have red cheeks kind of, but they're like fading. But anyways, I thought I really needed this. <laughs> and it was good, like it also like blurred texture a bit, like it says to do. But yeah, I don't really use primer anymore. Like I just put my sunscreen on and then put any other face makeup on if I'm using face makeup, which I'm normally not. So I don't have a need for primer in my routine anymore. Don't know if I'll use it again. We'll see. Okay, there's the end of all my products that I will never be using again. I have so many products like laying around in my closet, so I figured I'd go through, pick some stuff out that'd be interesting to talk about. Some of them have a fun story time with them. <laughs> Obviously, if you like these products, <laughs> keep using them. Like, I'm not gonna stop you. 
but I found better replacements in my routine or I just found they weren't necessary in my routine. I will definitely be showing you guys my current routine soon because I'm just really trying to like perfect it and get everything in that I want in it until I show you because I want it to like, you know, be accurate. <laughs> Not like post it in the day after I add a new product, like that's annoying. That'll be soon and thanks for watching. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you uh, and if you liked them, if you didn't like them, if you're thinking of trying them. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Mwah.